Hello fellow survivors and welcome back to Road to 500 Days and we are back here in the dam on our way back to base, back to Trappers and we got not much to do here, just pick up the stuff, head to Trappers and pick up our bedroll, pick up a quilt and that sort of stuff and <clears throat> that is pretty much it I don't think there's anything else to do here, I think there is a lockbox around here but we don't have the a uh, key for it. Now let's see. It might be light enough to not actually need a lantern here. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a pr pretty light in here. I think we can probably manage without the lantern. It's pretty pretty light. You got the sun coming through the windows. And all we're going to do now is pretty much just head straight back to Trappers. We're not going to do much more. Uh, it's a bit dark here. I can I can see, but uh, uh, but you probably can't. So we're going to use the lantern. The lantern is not just for my convenience, but for your convenience. There we go. Okay. Now this episode is recorded before. The part three of the DLC comes out, which has things like the new cooking system, the ptarmigan, and a bunch of other stuff. Can I check this? Yes. Um, but it's quite possible that this episode will be released after the, that patch. So don't be surprised if you're watching this and realize that some of the new things are not in it. But for the same reason, this is possibly going to be a shorter episode than usual. Um, just to get to Trappers and do a few things and then we'll get into part three when possible. We'll see though, it depends. Also summer and during the summertime it's harder to uh, uh, arrange these sort of recordings. We'll see what we can do. But in any case, we have all our stuff. We're heading back to Trappers and we're going to resituate the base a bit and then we're going to head off to Broken Railroad. What time of day is it? It's noon, okay. And I smell because I got a bunch of guts, which I didn't really need, I suppose, but that's okay. I do like the dam, it's got a great atmosphere to it. And back in the day, there used to be a wolf here the indoor wolf, Fluffy the indoor wolf. Now, Fluffy got patched out eventually. And it's not here anymore. But you can find Fluffy in the cannery in Bleak Inlet instead. We'll go there one day. Hmm, I looted this guy. Huh, I either missed this first time or it's been added. Most likely I just missed it. Hmm. Now, some people think that the wolf in the cannery in Bleak Inlet is a different wolf, but no, it is Fluffy because the developers have said as much. They just, mo just moved it. One second. All right. Okay. So if you ever see me pause the game like that in the middle of something, it's usually either something happened, my phone rang, or uh, something's up with the baby or something. If I do that sort of stuff when I enter a building, it's not unlikely that I've exited and come back later. So most of these episodes, most of these 500 day episodes are recorded in one go. So each episode is done in one go. But there are some exceptions where I had to pause it halfway through and come back to it later. If I have to do that with this one, uh, I will probably end the run. So with this one, because it's so close to the next part of the DLC coming out, if I have to suddenly stop it halfway through, it's likely I'll just end the episode there so that um, the next one can be with the new content rather than the new content being added in the middle of the episode, if that makes sense. Generally speaking, though, I try to keep the episodes an hour or longer. It did happen though in my other run, the Nogoa series, if you haven't seen that, where I also had episodes that were about 40 minutes, but it, happened, but it varies. Okay, so we're now back in Mystery Lake. Good old Mystery Lake, good old home. 
I'm going to grab the birch bark that I see for teas. And there are some oak trees in Mystery Lake, but I have not yet learned where they are because the oak trees were actually added to the game when I was in Coastal Highway, I think. So that means that um, I haven't really had a chance to see where they are yet. I found the ones in Coastal Highway. I don't know where they are here. I had a guess that along the western bank or they're up by the, uh, the little plateau. In any case, we're going to head more or less straight to Trappers. And when we get there, we'll unload a bunch of stuff. I might make a fire, actually. Uh, because there's a... Um, Maglens weather right now. Might do that quickly. Because the, the, it's sunny and I know there are wolves up ahead. So rather than killing the wolves, I figure it might be better to scare them off. Because I don't need anything from them, not really. At least not yet. Come on, one more time. One more time, Astrid. You can do this. I believe in you. I believe. Come on, little fire. I can't feel my feet. Come on, little fire. Oh my god, there was almost almost excess and then it died. 85%. Sometimes uh, with fires, I hear people say that they are particularly unlucky or Come something. On, Come on. But you have to remember statistic pro uh, probability and things like hot hand fallacies and stuff like that. So if you have a, call it 75% chance of lighting a fire, right? That means that in three out Perfect. of four cases, when you start a fire, you are going to succeed. It also means that one in four ch times you're going to fail, right? But that also means that it's one in four times one in four chance or one in eight chance that you fail twice in a row. One in eight is like, what's that? 12.5% or something like that, right? So in, in one out of eight times you're going to fail twice in a row. And then times four, one and four again is, uh, what is it then? Uh, then it's even less and it's like 6% chance. So then you're approaching um, very unlikely, but still likely. So if you have 75% chance of lighting a fire, there might just be a 6% chance that you fail three times in a row. But 6% is still 6%. And in 6 out of 100 times, that's what's going to happen. Okay? And it just so happens that when it happens to you, you are experiencing one of those 6 out of 100 times. And you notice them because you failed. But when you succeed in lighting a fire, you don't notice it and you just forget about it. That's called selective uh, matching. You always remember the things that stand out, you know. There's sometimes I hear people saying like, I, you know, I tried five times in a row to light a fire with 80% chance and it didn't work. Something's wrong. I'm like, no, it's not. It's just unlikely, but it's not impossible. These things just happen. I once saw a stream, I think he had 95% chance of lighting a fire and he failed eight times in a row. The odds of that is extremely low, but it's going to happen at some point in time, right? At some point that is going to happen and you just happen to be experiencing that moment at that point. Do you know what I mean? This is why I uh, lit the uh, fire using the mag lens because this way I didn't have to use a match. 
and um, I could just safely light the fire, grab a torch, and then go through the walls, and I don't have to shoot them. If I needed the food from them, sure, but I don't need the food from them, so I might as well scare them off rather than shooting them. It's just more efficient that way. That's a general rule that is probably worth following in general. Like, if you if you are out traveling and you know you're going to encounter wolves and you see that it's a clear day, it's a good idea to light a fire with the maglens. If you have a maglens, obviously. If not, then it's no point. But if you have a maglens... I recently turned up, up the graphics on my terrain, so the grass is a little bit <laughs> more detailed than usual. But yeah, if you have the maglens, it's totally worth to do that if you if you know you're going to encounter wolves. Because it will keep them away. And you save a match doing it too. I mean, saving matches is also something within reason, because you... Even if you're conservative like me, and even if you spend uh, one match every 10 days or something, the matches are still going to last for a really, really long time. Even if you exclude the maglens. And now, actually, because now, because of the beach combing, the maglens is actually... Not maglens. The uh, matches are kind of renewable as well. Because it is possible now to get matches via beach combing. It's, it's rare. Uh, it's pretty rare. But it does happen. Uh, it's something like 2% chance in a, in a locker or, or something something to that effect. I don't know the exact numbers or anything. But if you go and check beachcombing, uh, you can find matches washed ashore. Look at all this stuff. If I wasn't carrying so much, I would consider hunting all these deer just to get the hides. I would like some more hides for, them, for my cabin. But the problem is I'm already carrying a bunch of stuff. And it, it's too heavy. So we're going to ignore it for now. I'm going to need some first aid soon. But yeah. Ow. Fire is one of those limited resources in the game. And in Interloper it's really important. Because you need it to stay warm. You need it to cook. You need to, you need it to make water. It is so essential. But if you are conservative with your matches, you will survive a long time, even if you use it when you could have used the maglens. And you see me do that. There's been a few times, I think even in this series, where you've seen me use a match to light a torch when it's been a clear day. I just wasn't paying attention, you know, it happens. But there are plenty of matches in the game. I never sat down and counted all of them, but as you've seen in this game, I haven't used very many matches and I store a bunch in my base. And I don't have total count, but I would assume there's something close to 300 matches, maybe. And then you also have Fire Strikers, which are kind of like another set of matches or two. You have a Flare, which is basically the same as a match. And of course, in addition, you have the Maglands. But yeah, in Beach coming now, you can find matches uh, washed ashore, even if it's rare. Now, one thing, fellow survivors, when we head back to base now, I am a bit curious what the base is going to look like. Because if you remember, if you watched this series so far, you might remember that I have found some non-interloper items, which were just weird. I found an MRE, I found uh, rifle bullets, and I found cardboard matches. And I think the other thing was peanut butter. I can't remember. It's a little while since I was in this space. Now, all of those items do not spawn on, pe uh, on, on peanut butter. <laughs> they do not spawn an interloper. So they were clearly a loot bug. Uh, and that's not uncommon when new content is released. It has happened before that uh, when Hush River Valley came out, you could find the revolver there. So that's uh, not that unusual. Uh, but it's clearly not intended, and uh, as you might re might remember, I had a rule that I said was that uh, if I find an item that is not meant for interloper, I'm not going to use it. It's just going to be a souvenir. I think I must have this, yeah. 
Is this going to be a souvenir, uh, a little memento for myself? I'm just going to store it in the base. Um, the exception is if I find loot that you can also find an interloper, but it may have been a bug that it was spawned in a container. Uh, for example, like maybe I, it glitched and I got double maple syrup or something, then it's fine. But if I, if I found an item that was not meant to be an interloper, I didn't use it. I put it on the shelf in Trapper's cabin and just left left it there. Now, I haven't been and in that base since I left for Coastal Highway. And since then, the game has been patched a few times and they have fixed a lot of those things. There's a lot of uh, loot now that you can no longer uh, find because they were bugs. There was a lot of invisible loot. You might remember I found some items and they were invisible, especially in Hushra Valley. And those have all been fixed now. The question then is that considering I found all these non interlope items and now it has been patched, are those items going to despawn in the base or are they still there? That's the question. So we're going to have a look. We're going to have a look at the base and see if those items are still there. And we'll, we'll see what's up. Now let's also have a look at the bear. The bear has probably respawned. And we might want to hunt the bear as well. And I think I need to make a fire to keep this fire going. Because I don't really want this torch to, to blow out. Is the bear around here? Well, he's not right here at least. Let's also see if the moose is out. I have yet to see the moose. I need to make a fire soon just to keep this uh, fire going. No moose. Okay, I'm gonna make a fire down here. Just because I want to keep this going, I might need to cook something or uh, make water or something. And it's no longer sunny, so I might as well make some torches. Come on, little fire. Right. Let's just put on this. Take the torch. That's a terrible torch. Better torch. It's also better. And let's put on a stick. Grab another torch. What was left of this? Uh, nothing. I didn't really map much, but I kind of mapped most of this anyway. Any deer around? Because that would also be nice to have. Uh, a few more deer. Don't see any. Some rabbits though. Maybe hunt those rabbits, we can see. Yeah, it seems like we have a mooseless uh, mystery lake because there's no moose in our name pond, there's no moose in the dam, and there's no moose here. Although it can still spawn here, so probably if you make it to 500 days, if you check here regularly, it might spawn one day. If it does, we're gonna kill it. All right. How are we looking with the food situation here? Uh, do I have raw meat? Let's see. We do have raw meat. Okay, in that case, we're gonna start fire here. I'm gonna cook as much of this as we can. And they can cook while we sort out our inventory and that sort of thing. There we go. Actually, we can keep that. Let's put on one of these. Place this. And yeah, look at all this stuff. <laughs> Just grab this and cook it. It's ruined. But when you cook it, it goes back up to 50%. 
Not that it matters, because... Um, um, we have level 5 cooking anyway. Alright. How long does this need? How much water and stuff do I have? It needs 42 minutes. Alright, let's have a look in here. Okay. Let's first... We'll use the torch just so we can see better. Let's check out that shelf first. This is a shelf. Hey, it's still here. It didn't despawn. How about that? So we got some mementos here then. The hunting knife, cardboard matches, and rifle, a revolver and rifle ammunition. That's cool. I thought we found an MRE or so, but maybe I misremember. But that's cool. How much does this have? All right, so we got the... Uh, so they stayed behind. That's so cool. That's awesome. All right. Okay, so let's sort out some stuff. Oh, okay, I have a load of rabbit pelts here. I couldn't even remember how many I had. And we got loads of guts as well. We got wolf pelts. And then we have some of those... Uh, did I just leave that in here? I think I did. No? All right. I'm going to start... Ah, oh, here we are. Here's my little stash. Let's drop this. And that, and that. And also the one that's zero, which is this one. Ray paint. Quality tools, which you can stack here. It's better to store those quality tools around the world at strategic locations. But at the moment, that would require me walking around uh, which I don't really see the point of. If I later in the game realize that, oh, I should really have, you know, that item in this in this base, then I'll do that. Okay, what else? Uh, we got some books we're reading. That's actually just firewood. So we can put that here. Speaking of firewood, I think we'll take these outside. Bed rolls. Uh, we can put these books in here. Uh, anything here we do is move all of this in here. Yeah, nice. Okay. In here, yeah, okay. And here we don't need this many stims and whatnot. So I'm going to put two of these in. Put that in there too. But, I don't know, these, these, and that for sure. Uh, matches, we have too many matches. I'm going to add most of these, to be honest. That's 12, 24, 48 matches. Add that to our matches count. We have 148 matches. <laughs> Uh, that's good. Let's check outside so I don't make a mistake. We don't have that much water, actually. Oh, that needs fixing. And don't burn this food. Two minutes. Ow. Nice. Man, this pack is getting cut. You know, it says moldy, but it's not ruined. Okay, uh, let's also put on this. We don't need to get more rabbits because we have that. But what about deer hides? How many do we have? Oh, we got quite a few. Should be right. All right, what else? Uh, we have some food we don't need. We don't need any of this. We don't need this. I think I want to carry this with me. It weighs so little and it's helpful for sleeping. We could maybe put in... Yeah, let's put in three of these. Like that. Okay. And then this can go here in our cracker stash. Uh, Food-wise, is there any other food? I don't think that's worth... I don't think I'll just eat that. Okay. We 
you have some of these that we don't need. What else? Scrap metal. Let's also harvest this. And harvest these. Did it harvest both? No, it didn't. Okay. And how many hours do I have? Six. Mm, should maybe make some more, especially because we're going on a little journey. But now let's put these in here. And we'll sort them out later. Put them there. And then uh, let's put one of these fishing tackles in here too. We got some lantern fuel. We got. I might need to make a new bow also. Not right now though. Okay, and then let's refuel this. I got a tiny bit left, that's okay. Marine flare. I don't think we need the marine flare. Get rid of that for now. We'll, we'll organize that in the base later. Uh, we need some repairs. Those socks, you know, we really need better socks. Look how many combat pants we have, it's crazy. I think that's enough. Accelerant, always carry one. Air fire, that's fine. Let's go back outside. How's this looking? Burned. No, I'm not burned, but getting burned. Eat this. Got a little food supply here. Why is the bear isn't around? Let's put this on there too. And let's just craft this. Which I think will also just cook. Oh, is that a blizzard coming? Or is it just windy? Looks like it's just heavy snow. But now. Mm. Oh, we have an extra pry bar we don't need. And then I think that's all of our stuff sorted. I believe. Is there anything else? We don't need this many stones, but that's okay. Cattails. We'll just carry the cattails. That's okay. Uh, some repairs we could do with some repairs. Yeah. Okay, we are looking good. And what's my carry weight? It's 37. Okay, nice. And I think uh, we can actually read. There aren't any day around. 15 minutes. Let's do this, grab that, grab that. That smarts a bit. Oh, wind is picking up. Doesn't seem like it's strong enough. Can I read? Let's give it a try. Not healthy enough. What is the issue? Sprain? In that case, I am going to use a cloth to fix this, so that I can actually do something. Let's give it a try. Yeah, we got one hour in there. Okay, let's put on two liters of this. I'll read another app. Oh. The bear is out. Okay. No, actually, I would like you to come with me. So I'm going to pick up this. I would like to kill this bear. To have an extra bear hide. Okay. Let's put that here.
Can the bear be scared off with this, I wonder? Oh wow. Okay, it just attacks you instead. Hello. Good night. There we are. Poor bear. Take out bear. Well, that was interesting. It actually triggered the bear's attack, even though he hadn't actually spotted me yet, but he went straight for me. Got my full arrows. Did I get my other arrow? Or did it just break? Let's have a quick look here. Yeah. Uh, it's around here. What happened to that arrow? There it is. It broke. Yeah. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Okay. So now we know. <laughs> At least that bear. I don't think the bear had detected me, uh, unless I uh, maybe he growled just before I did it, and I just didn't realize. If he had detected me, it seems to work the same way as the wolves. Maybe he had, and I just didn't realize. Would make the most sense, I guess. Okay, little bear. We are gonna do some cooking. We need. Um, we need your hide, you see. We're gonna grab that first. Now, if you saw what happened there, like I got the fire hard arrow didn't do any damage on the bear. But then I hit him with a regular arrow here, and then another arrow here, and then he stopped because of the campfire. Do you see that? The fire a, a torch won't really do much. A torch will, can block the bear, but it doesn't stop the bear. Uh, but a campfire, it'll stop the bear, and you get an opportunity to shoot him one more time. It's like he hesitates because there's fire. But I shot him in the face, and then he went for me, but because I went behind here, uh, he lost track of me, and I just shot him in the face again. So... The campfire is not an exploit, but going here is kind of an exploit because he can't really reach you. 10 minutes. How long to grab the hide? 28 minutes. Okay, in that case, let's do this. And then this. Oh, we're in there, meat. And I don't really want the wolves to come after me right now. This one is cooked. So I'm going to drop my meat and let's grab the hide. And we'll just cook as long as we have wood and the weather allows it. At the moment it seems okay. Let's go in here. We'll have to grab a torch, but we can just use this. I like to always have at least one bear pelt in my base. In every base, ideally, but especially the main base for future repairs. You can grab this book and some sticks. There we go. Okay. We got that. That's done, that's dry, let's do this again. And let's put on the book. And see that? And that's cooked, so put that. Uh, let's just do this. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Have a nice little nice little stack. Alright, then we can start harvesting this. And I think we'll do it with this. Five kilos, sure. This is the benefit of having the bear next to the base like this. I'm not sure why this looks like that. And that looks like that. Ah, I see. It's like a, it's like a graphical bug. Once I click it, it changes. I see. Okay, that's cooked. Forty-five, thirty-three. Okay, so let's continue. 
I'm getting quite a lot of supplies for the base this way. The more deer meat would be good too, but generally speaking, it's okay. If you're wondering how I'm dropping the meat, I often get asked that question. Uh, I'm just clicking three on my PC, which is to drop decoy. See, now it says no decoys, right? The decoy system doesn't really work anymore. Like not really. Uh, it was patched a long time ago now, a couple, two or three years ago. And I if I can drop there any of this is here. a decoy system, but it's not really much to speak of. Okay, we have a blizzard, but we are protected from the wind. But we are okay. We got quite a lot of food supplies still. Seven. It's gonna keep going as long as we can. The meat's the most important. Oh, the wind changed. I think the fire blew out. No, oh, it didn't change. It looked like... No, it didn't change. There's a camera changed over here. That's what happened, yeah. 12 minutes, 4 minutes. Alright, let's do another... 2 kilos then. There we are. Let's eat this. Drink this. And let's just grab, let's just grab all of these. There's, there's no point in having them here. There we are. And let's just, how much water? Okay, we can wait with that. Put some sticks on here and let's keep going. We're basically going to do maintenance this episode, maintain all our stuff. Yeah, okay, the wind changed there. Now it changed. And I don't think that I can maintain this fire because I'm not in a position where it's possible. No, it's kind of coming straight at me. Uh, if I had the fire here instead, it would be doable. And here behind the bear even. But this is not that. So this fire is going to burn out, unfortunately. Let's just take that. But that's alright. That's okay. Uh, I think I'm still going to harvest as much as I can of this bear. I'm just going to let that burn out. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's go sleep until morning and see if there's uh, sunlight and then we can continue. But let's just do this. And sleep, uh, sleep five hours because then it will be dawn and there might be sunlight. Usually during dawn there's a slightly higher chance to get um, sunlight. So let's see. Mm, this is not sunlight. <laughs> is that cooked? Yeah, it is cooked. We're gonna take that. On portal water, that's all right. Uh, we can harvest like two kilos of this. No, no luck. Oops. Beat that. Let's not repeat the mistake and get parasites. <laughs> uh, and then I think we're gonna it's gonna warm up here and read an hour of this and go back out and it's gonna rinse and repeat. So we can harvest as much as bear as possible. Still foggy, that's all right. Let's grab another two kilos. Slight risk there that I kept the meat on me. What is this? Oh. So much charcoal, we don't need this much. <laughs> we can maybe put some of that in here. 
freezing. Yeah, I got way too much of it. But it's full. Let's read another hour of this. And repeat. Sunlight! Let's go. Let's actually do it here this time. Because if I do it here... If the, if the wind comes from this side and blows it out, I can grab a torch from around the corner and light the other fire. So this should really be the main place. Come on, little fire. Need to make sure I have enough wood, though. All right, let's put on some sticks. One piece of coal as well. And let's move this over here. This, why is that there? Yeah. Same thing. Uh, yeah, let's just melt this, sure. Seven. Same. And then we can harvest the rest of this. What was that noise? I don't know, like... I don't know, like a deer, actually. Weird. Okay. Then, might as well... Wait, are there any feathers around? I don't see any feathers. Okay, we're gonna grab the guts as well. Use a knife for that. Three guts. We might leave one gut behind. Just for uh, feather farming. Do this one. Small piece. Let's eat that. And that. And let's just go in here. Might as well just drop the guts here. And drop the water here. So we have stuff for future use. There we go. And then... Yeah, and keep farming some of these. Mm. Three again. This is why this is such a good base, because you have the bear right there. I'm gonna keep this on me. This might attract the wolf. That's okay if that happens. He comes over the hill here sometimes. Or he comes from over here. He seems to be right now. Any one minute. Let's just uh, keep going. Okay, I'm gonna leave the last gut. Just to see if uh, the carcass stays up a bit longer and maybe some feathers spawn or something. I don't see any feathers though. Boiled. And then we might read the book and then we might craft. Let's drop this again. All the guts. And let's just harvest this. There we go, and we got some water, but not very much. We might as well drop it, though. There we go. All right. Looking good. Uh, let's harvest this also. And I think we're going to actually make the deer skin pants, but before we do that, I'm going to cook some more outside. And read the book. So let's see. This has got nine minutes. All right, let's do that. Let's grab that. Oh, cooked, nice. We don't need to cook all of this, but as much as we can. We're going to read another hour of this. See if we can finish this book. Then we can start crafting. Done. 
dann as much cooking as we can. And let's finish this book. It's fine. Oh. Bog. Ah, blizzard, okay. I did get cooked though. This didn't, but that's okay. We're gonna take these pieces that are cooked. I think that's alright. Yeah. And we're going to go inside and then we're switching tactics now to crafting. And I think I had some tablets, didn't I? Yeah, so let's grab two of these. And then we're going to use them to purify this water. Rather than just cooking it again. There we go. And then uh, we'll draw... No, we'll probably use this water. Okay, so the deer skin pants, I want to make those. And they are two and four. Okay, one, two. One, two, three, four. Let's just start making that. Not boots, but pants. Oh. Oh, I must have clicked this one. That's yeah. Okay, three then. Let's start making these. You can use a sewing kit, that's fine. They don't take too long to make, so we can make them via the next day, I think. Yeah. There we are. Let's have some food. Don't think we'll get cabin fever because we've been cooking outside so long. Now let's keep going. We'll finish it. Uh, we'll keep going until it's dark. Okay, now it's too dark. I'll have a drink. And we'll sleep as long as we can. Let's see here. Nice, and it's actually daylight now because of the horizon. The sun is just over the horizon, so it's actually daylight. We can actually... Oh, I should have done it the reverse order, but okay. Now I got more dehydrated. <laughs> I basically wasted some water doing that. Let's... Uh, we can probably just finish this, to be honest. Most likely we can. And... Boom. All right, and here we got this book that we dropped. Any other books to read? Oh yeah, there is, but none that I really need, I guess. I can read them later. This shouldn't be here. This should be out here. <clears throat> this should be here. Okay, then we're going to do some repairs and maybe craft another bowl. We're basically doing maintenance here now. Let's keep on top of the food. And let's have a look here. So, we need to do some repair. We need to repair this too. And let's have a look at the pants here. So, if we look at this one, right? And then that. You can see that temperature-wise they're the same and this is much lighter. Much lighter. Both get two degrees, and that's the main thing that I care about. But if you look at the rest, so, uh, wind resistance, for example, much higher here. Water resistance, much higher. Protection, much higher. And there's a sprint penalty, but it's not very much. Well, of course, it weighs more. But what we're going to do, we're going to put this one on the outer layer here. I'm going to put that one on the inner layer. Yeah. So we're only going to use one of these combat pants. So for now, we're going to be a bit heavier. But that's okay. Let's take some of this out. Uh, what can I take out of here? And leave somewhere else. Oh, I have a second bowl. Let's just carry that around instead of making a new one. And uh, let's put these in here. Okay. All right. Then we're going to do a bit of repairs, including repairing my boots. So let's do some repairs. Let's repair these boots. Might actually be better to just uh, make new ones because they require two to make new ones and I think we need two to repair this to four. There we do. But at least we level up um, 
repairing doing it as well. So let's just do that. The sewing is good to get to high level. It takes a long time to get sewing or mending to a high level uh, because of the amount required. But it does help because you repair faster and you repair more successfully. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, these, yeah, I think we could repair those. Let's repair those. Uh, this... Uh, is that worth repairing? I don't think so. This is also not worth repairing. Well, we could do it for the fun of it. This, this is worth repairing. But we don't have one that's cured. We'll do that later. I think the rest is fine. Uh, let's repair just for the fun of it. Uh, this satchel here. go. There we are. Just because it takes damage and struggles and things. We still need to find a second one of these. And time is kind of running out to find it. So I'm hoping Broken Railroad or Forsaken Airfield will have it because we really need one. Uh, and another pair of wool socks will be good. But now we are pretty golden. Alright, let's do some inventory management here. Uh, we got two bows. Uh, I was going to make another one, but since they have two, we might as well just have two. I think that I would like to grab, make maybe two more arrows, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe two arrows. Uh, in which case, we'll grab one of these. Let's make three arrows, seeing as, seeing as we're at it. I have to make that stuff. We have to make the... Uh, The shafts and I'm going to use the quality tools very often I don't use the quality tools because well <laughs> what's the rush to be honest I might as well use it level up some archery there there we go nice let's just do this as well there we go let's drop this because we don't need it uh, put that there I'm going to walk around with two bows that are low condition instead of making another one. Stones, we don't need that many stones. Grab a couple of these. I'm not sure the stones will fit actually, but... Actually, there's no point. Let's just drop the stones out here. Okay, uh... We can just drop it like here or something. For the rabbits. I, I want to have two stones on me. There we go. Um, I think that is about it. Does anything need repairing? I guess we could repair this, but I think we are looking good now. Yeah. I think so. I think now. This is our base now. Yeah, look at this. Got that curing, we got a bunch of hides. Uh, so wouldn't say no to more deer hides, we only have two. Back of petrols. And a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, more wood would be good as well. Yeah, this is looking pretty great. Including our mementos. Alright, let's uh, do this. And uh, let's refuel this as well with the little we had. And then I think we are ready. If there are deer outside in the morning, I will hunt them. But other than that, I think we are done for now and we are ready to go. Uh, we are pretty well repaired. We got supplies. We got plus 26 degrees now. So let's, let's eat one of these. Have a drink. And let's sleep. We'll put 10 hours, but we're not going to sleep 10 hours. It'll be more like 8, 7 or 8. Alright, let's just quickly see uh, outside. Yeah. What's the situation? Any deer or moose? No. There might be one over the hill there, but that's okay. 
One day we'll put a bunch of snares down too, but we don't need it now. Uh, we're just going to pass time. We're going to pass time for two hours. And then we'll do... Did I finish eating that thing? No, let's eat that. 10 calories. <laughs> I think that's all you spend chewing. And then you drink that, and then we sleep another, two, well, one hour, but I'll put two. Then it should be light. There we go. It's not quite dawn, but we can check anyway. Oh, starry night. Yeah, I think we will wait though. Uh, I'll do the same again. Pass two, sleep one. Just to get some more daylight in. There we go. All right, we got quite a lot of supplies now in the base. Some more wood would be good, that's the only thing. And more deer hides is also good. Looks like there's a blizzard outside. Yep, there is. Okay, well, I'm gonna put some notes because now we are pretty good. And I think we should head into Broken Railroad next. That will probably happen with the next patch. So let's actually end this here. So, uh, now I'm going to Grab food and water and go to BR. Uh, we can remove this, it doesn't matter. I, when, when I have a lot of supplies, I stop tracking it in the base. Because you just assume there is stuff there. Uh... Yes, lost arrows. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Okay. Nice. Let me go back inside. And there we are. All right, so we resituated ourselves. We got clothing repaired and crafted. Um, let's put this on the outer. to be a bit better protected against the environment. We got a good setup. We still need to find one more here and one more of this, but now we're good. We got supplies here, we got two coal, more would be better, but we can maybe pick some up in the cave. Uh, 12 matches, but Maglans is fine. We got some food, but we're going to grab some more food and water. This is heavy, but uh, that's alright. We're going to be mapping as we travel. And we got two bows. Uh, I believe it picks the lowest condition, so it's going to use this one first, I think. I'm not sure about that. No, it's the other way around. The highest condition is going to use this one first, but that's okay. And then I think we're going to head to Broken Railroad. Have I even mapped anything in Fallen Musket and stuff? <laughs> Barely anything. Alright. Well, we're going to go uh, through this. We might stop and get this cache. I'll map some things along the way. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, we're going to go more or less more or less through it and head to Broken Railroad. And then we're going to loot Broken Railroad and also set up a base there. There are a few cool things about Broken Railroad. Like you can get up to three stims there, which is crazy if you're lucky. Um, and uh, the Hunting Lodge is a really good base, especially if you have the moose outside. But the moose can also be near the lake. But if you get the moose outside the hunting lodge, it's just, it's just a cool base. Because you got the six burner stove inside and that sort of thing. Uh, I like just hanging out there. It's a cool base. But we'll see about that. So, yeah, next episode we're going to go to Broken Railroad via Fallen Muskeg. And most likely next episode there will be um, the part three of the DLC will be out. Which means that there will be cook new cooking systems, the ptarmigan will be out and that sort of stuff. So unless I happen to get a lot of time suddenly to record another episode before the release, which is unlikely, uh, probably the next episode will be with the new content. Uh, although I have to see, I, I kind of go day by day. All right. 
Thank you for watching, survivors. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.